what's good youtube welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if you're not new then welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome to the channel i'm your boy leo j on this channel we do reaction videos man basically it's react to almost anything except adult content do not suggest adult content to me bro because i cannot sit down and react to that someone did that in my comments the other day and i was like Dude, I cannot react to that on my channel, bro. I can't react to adult content. Y'all gonna get my channel taken down. But I react to almost anything, especially if it's on YouTube. It's easier for me to react to it. If y'all want me to react to any of y'all videos, y'all want me to react to anything specific, drop that in the comment section. But today we gonna react to J. Cole publicly apologize to Kendrick Lamar after this track. I see a lot of people... I see a lot of people talking about this and reacting to it and they're like, oh man, he's running from the war, he's running from the clash or the this or whatever. Some are saying he's that he's afraid Kendrick is going to win, you know. Some are saying he's he he's 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 a punk for doing it. But me personally saying, look at what happened to Tupac and Biggie. Look at what happened to to a lot of artists that was beefing. Stuff like this. Like Kendrick and, and J. Cole might not want to make it get physical. Or might not get physical with it. But you know who's going to get physical with it? Their supporters. Their, their, their fans. You know. They're going to take it serious. And then they're go, you're going to be a whole group of Kendrick Lamar fans. And a whole group of J. Cole fans. And they're going to get physical and... J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar might get involved in that. So I strongly believe that what J. Cole did, man, what J. Cole did, I praise him for it, bro. But we go check out this video because I still haven't watched the apology videos yet. I only watch reaction videos, a part of reaction videos for it. So I still haven't seen the full apology, but we go check so it out. So J. Cole bro. has apologized for dissing Kendrick Lamar. What's up? It's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX and check this out. J. Cole has publicly apologized to Kendrick Lamar after dissing him on the track 7 Minute Drill while performing at Dreamville Festival this past weekend. I think that Walking back his lyrics about Kendrick on the song that was released last week, Cole expressed regret about releasing the track. Me, right? So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know... This is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? Yeah. So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world... And I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Right? <laughs> niggas wanna see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm yeah. like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that yep. shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight yep. is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? 
Hell yeah. As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray Hell yeah. that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna Hell take yeah, shot bro. Chin, boy, do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I a lot of people, I tell you, but man, a lot of people, a lot of people, like, they're saying he's wrong for doing this because everyone was all pumped up and be like, they want to hear back to back this track and stuff. But that can lead down a dark alley, bro. And I'm telling you right now, man, I salute J. Cole for doing this. Apologizing. It takes a real man to apologize, bro, especially to another man, bro. I'm telling you, man, I, I salute J. Cole for doing this, bro. Like, this is a huge move. If y'all check out my shorts videos, bro, I have a video on there, on, on my, this channel, that's saying, bro, I wanted, I, let's end the war, I wanted to go back to when, and I had a song playing in the background with J. Cole and Kendrick, or, J, or Drake and Kendrick in the background playing, bro. And I'm like, I didn't even remember that this was, was no it was future and drake in the background and i was like i didn't even remember that this this was a big hit i want the peace bro like so i support this 120 percent bro dude you know what i mean like all good facts like, bro it's it's love and love, I pray man. That, you know i pray that y'all are like forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then and then i can get back to my true path because i ain't gonna lie to y'all past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So yeah. all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. The Dreamville boss Love also yours. went on to say that he would be taking the diss track off of streaming services. But as of this time, it is still currently streaming. It seems that J. Cole's apology may not have been well received. TDE executive Musa seemingly taunted Cole by posting a clip of One Republic's hit song Apologize in response to J. Cole's apology with a caption that simply read, Sing. TDE signee Reason also expressed dismay by writing, IDK man, I just IDK. Meanwhile, Kendrick collaborator Terrace Martin appeared to imply that Cole was soft by tweeting out, Cotton Ball. Hit Boy also criticized the apology, writing, it might be over for real. Chicago MC Mick Jenkins was especially vocal in his disapproval, writing, as a rapper's rapper, as a competitor, I am surprised, I am disgusted, I am disappointed. Bro, Brian B. Dot Miller, wrong, veteran hip-hop journalist and co-host of Rap Radar Podcast, joked, might delete later indeed. So what are your thoughts on J. Cole walking back his Kendrick Lamar diss, and do you think he Bro. made the right decision? Let us know in the comment section, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX. Bro, my opinion, my honest opinion is no man should back down and let any other man walk over them. But this music industry, this music industry can get crazy, bro. This music industry can get crazy, and I honestly this year, I got serious. want to see... Like two of my favorite artists go down like Tupac and Biggie, bro. So I salute him for doing this. Find the, the find it. This is how I would prefer it to happen. Get a stage, a huge stage. Get your songs together. Go on that stage. Shake hands. Let the the audience know this is a musical battle. That is it. And perform your songs. Perform your songs. Or go in the same studio. Perform your songs. Record that you guys are good. Record that you guys are good. And, and put it out there. And put the songs out there. But if y'all go make it seem like you guys just don't like each other. It's probably going to get physical. Probably going to have death in it. And probably going to end up like Tupac and Biggie. We got Vaughn. You got King Vaughn out there. You know, you got so many, so many people out there. Gang related um, murders, bro. I don't want to see that with Kendrick or, or, or um, J. Cole, bro.
But anyways, let me know what y'all think, man. It's this is just my opinion. If y'all say it's lame for for what he did, I understand. I appreciate your opinion. Drop that in the comment section. And I will see y'all on the next video, man. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.